Welcome to a Thursday edition of Auto Week TV. Here's what's going on in the car world. Things are getting hot in Austin, Texas, and the scheduled Formula One race is still a year away. The Austin City Council is set to vote today on an official endorsement of the U.S. Grand Prix. A yes vote will give race promoters access to $25 million a year from a state trust fund. That money will go to F1's commercial boss, Bernie Ecclestone, as a licensing fee to bring the F1 circus to Austin. But three Austin area residents filed a lawsuit late Wednesday seeking to block the state from giving the money to the race promoters. One of the plaintiffs is a teacher who lost her job in a recent round of budget cuts. Promoters of the Austin F1 race are on a tight schedule to have everything ready in time for next June, and any delay will not be good news to them. Keep up with the latest details on this fast-moving story at AutoWeek.com. Norwegian electric car maker Think filed for bankruptcy on Wednesday. Think, which was formerly owned by Ford, had planned to start building and selling its electric city cars in Indiana later this year. But those plans are now uncertain. GM says the 3.6 liter V6 used in the Buick LaCrosse will be rated at 303 horsepower for 2012. That's 23 horsepower more than the current version of the engine, but the LaCrosse will still get 17 mpg in the city and 27 on the highway despite the power boost. The V6 will be a no-cost option to the four-cylinder engine with e-assist on most trim levels of the LaCrosse. Finally for today, the National Hot Rod Association brings its ground-pounding show to Norwalk, Ohio this weekend. On their way there, the drivers from Kalita Racing stop by One Auto Week Tower to talk with Roger Hart about their cars and their hopes for the weekend. This is a world debut for this car. This is based off the 426 Chrysler Hemi. In our studio today, we have three of the fastest humans on the planet. From Kalita Racing, we have Doug Kalita. We're definitely looking forward to getting, uh, getting a win. Dave Grubnick. It's the, the first glimpse of amber that we see It's we smash that throttle. And Jeff Oren. A long time ago in Denver, if you went 300, that was huge. Well, now guys are going way over it. The car should leave at a, pretty much when the green light comes on. If we wait for a green light, we're, we're absolutely dead late. I uh, really can't run that low 4.0 like some of the forest cars are doing, but we're getting into races now where if you go 4.15 to 4.20 on a fairly hot track all the time, you're going to be going some rounds and have the capability to win races. And uh, definitely our DHL cars there, we can do that. So I, I see a big advantage for us right now. Yeah, it's coming up this weekend. Um, we were running the, the two top fuel dragsters. You driving this particular one behind me with the Mac Tools banner. Yeah, I always kind of look at it as so you're, uh, you're on the last turn of the Indy 500 and that's it, that's what every race we have is like. You know, there's no margin for error. We have a good chance that anybody is winning, so pretty excited about that. The guys have worked really hard to get to that point. This could be a good weekend for us, uh, so I'm thinking uh, I'm expecting to win with my car. Thanks guys. We'll have much more video of our visit with Kalita Racing later this week here at AutoWeek.com. Thanks for checking in. We'll wrap up another week tomorrow, and until then, enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of AutoWeek TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.